much power. Look at this. It's a power spike. This is an understatement. Power spike. There you go. Where's the ball? <laughs> That's headed towards us. Brought to us by PLDT by DSL. Ateneo regaining the lead. Alice A. Nakachi. Here's the setup once again for Erika Verano. Kainlet is there. Faustino on the back set to Misha Kimpo. Here's the back set now for Enrauli who tried to use the right hand that time. She is left handed. It was too and near the net. Yes. And a mighty bounce strong to get block shot. Uh, super to get block coming up. Again, trying to use her uh, non dominant hand, which is her right hand. Not happy with the result. 6 to 4. Ateneo third set. Zakachi once again. Back set. There's Aguilar. Aguilar and uh, Hendrauli are really trying their best. Aguilar 27%, Hendrauli 20% success rate with their attacks, but uh, somehow still not enough to turn things around here. Well, mga kaibigan, Ateneo is up by one. Axel is the official outfitter of the Shaky B League. Misha Kimpo still looking for her first point. Piatita has been very quiet here to start this third set. And Hervasho has not been quiet. There's nothing quiet about that power hit. From Ateneo at uh, sabi mo, 18 year old who can generate that much power. Oh. Let's leave it to physics. <laughs> Pwede. Parang speed of light yung kanyang palo. Eh. Sabi. Another lefty, Misha Kimpo now to serve here for Ateneo. Oh, Misha Kimpo fights the corner. Verano and Piatina got their signals crossed that time. They are not happy as Ateneo takes a three-point lead into our first technical timeout. Thursday here at the arena as the quarterfinals continues here at the Shakey's B League. St. LaSalle takes on Lyceum at the 2 p.m. game and in the 4 p.m. game it will be Southwestern against the College of St. Daniel. Mighty Bond courtside update time now for Noreen Go. Thanks Noel. After the very lopsided second set, Coach Jorim, you talked to his girls and said, you know what's your problem? Your problem's not the Lady Eagles. Your problem is yourselves. You know, you ha you're, you're all frowning. You're all looking to each other, hoping the other one would move. You're not enjoying yourselves, and you're not playing your game. So you have to forget about the first two sets, no matter how lopsided they are. Focus on the game, enjoy, try to support our guest player in Piatida, and see, you, we have to work one point. Every point counts, and let's see if we can uh, have a better showing here in this third set, guys. Well, thank you very much, Noreen Go, with our Mighty Pond courtside update right there. You know, she is right, you know, Southwestern's problem is not Ateneo because if they really brought their A game here, they could give Ateneo a really good fight. They gave Ateneo a really good fight in the first set. Oh. They lost that set 22-25. But uh, sabi nga ni Noreen, disappointed and frustrated itong si Coach Jureen. You cannot look beyond your shoulder and look for help outside this court that they're playing in. You have to look within yourself, dig deep, and do what you, do what you can. Well, there's still an opportunity for you to turn things around. And that's that, 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 Coach Ronnie. Of course, as uh, we'd like to remind everybody that the seventh season of the Shakey's V League is presented by PLDT Mighty SL going beyond broadband. And finally, Southwestern gets a point back. You have to remember that Ateneo is playing without two key players that only today, nalaman na Southwestern, uy, wala pala yung Bea Pascual, wala pala yung Charo Soriano. Yes, at uh, alam mo, isa rin magandang uh, panggitin na uh, ang Lady Cobras ay sumali sa ating V-League for the first time. Right. And uh, probably, they're still learning how to compete against the best dito sa Manila because they reign supreme sa Sesafi. Exactly. 11-6 to 6 right now, but they did win against FEU, which yes. is a good thing that they can bring home. J-Marks is the best grilled tuna in town. Hervasho. Here's Leno right now. Oh, Bakiro was uh, headed towards the net, but the set was going behind her. Faustino setting up Kainglet again. Phil Kainglet is just having a stellar game. Wow. The scoring hasn't stopped for Phil Kainglet. And uh, sabi mo, may bagong setter ang Ateneo in the third set. They continue to connect with each other. 12 for Ateneo, 6 for the Lady Cobras. And a bad serve that time for Angelina Arvasho. And I expect to see a lot more of the uh, reserves come in here for uh, Coach Clint later on just to give them a little bit of an exposure here. And of course, Bagpore Sports is a proud partner of the Shakey's V-League. 
Uh oh. <laughs> That's what you call a uh, a botched play. Uh oh. Uh, sa street language eh, na unay yung talon. <laughs> na unay yung talon. 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 Kaing left with the dig, Gretchen Ho tries to put it away. Kaing left is there again. Oh, if Kaing left scores this, she should run for top public office now. Well, well, well. Just by her lonesome got that point for Ateneo. 13 to 8. Phil Kaing left continues to load it over versus the defense of the Cobras. Speaking of public office, mga kaibigan, on May 9 and 11, the Shake East V-League will have no games played to give way to a more important exercise the May 10 national elections we encourage everybody to go out and vote Kainglet and Kimpo si Misha lampas 20 na importante nakarehistro sila kung nakarehistro yes. ito si Phil Kainglet Piatida Hervasio Faustino Kainglet here's the setup now for Rap Rap Aguilar and that will be a power hit let's see if Hervasio can save it <laughs> Nagkahiyaan si Hervasio at saka si Kainglet Don't look now, it's only oh, a eight, eight, exactly. three uh, point advantage for the Lady Eagles Yatida quietly bringing the Cobras back in this third set And again from the service area, Yatida once again Hervasio, Kainglet Yatida keeps it alive, Bakiro, Aguilar on the attack Faustino on the quick step to Nakachi and Verano, Gabriel. Kainglet will give up a free ball. Here's the back set right now to Erika Verano. Master of points for the Cobras and once again Piatida. Whenever she is on deck to serve, good things happen for SWU. Tatlong, uh, dalawa na lang po ang labang ng Ateneo at this point. Kimpo, Faustino. Here's Kainglet. And Kainglet is now ineffective here against Southwestern. Here's Aguilar. And Aguilar finds the corner. It's just a one-point lead for Ateneo. And Clint Palazzo says, let's talk about this right now. Timeout, Ateneo. Kanina pa tayo nakakapatay sa gitna, di ba? Ay tawag ko tinitinit doon kay Tom Dali. Sa gitna. Eh, lakas nga ng palo, matatapat mo lang doon sa tao. Di, di mahihirapan. Di ba, mag-aabot mo na. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Pull away! Go, go, go! 13 to 12 right now, Ateneo with only a one point lead and it's reality check time actually here for the Lady <laughs> Eagles, uh, Coach Ronnie. You can't uh, celebrate too quickly because this is a good squad talking about the Lady Cobras and anytime right. you go on your ground, papalik ang kanyan. Nakatanda natin, Coach Ronnie, kampiyon din yan. Kampiyon yan, winner yan. Ano daw? Pero yung trick ko si Barry sa background, eh. Oo, kung trick, sasabi. Here's Aguilar! Oh, Aguilar had the right intention but the wrong result and that gives a one point uh, gives one point to Ateneo. Now they have a two point lead. More breathing room here for the late Eagles. That's right. 14-12. Tasha Faustino. Here's the setup now for Aguilar. Block that time by Kimpo. Nice attack there. Coming from Verano. Kaying left changing her face. Verano attacking the long court. Gabriel is there. Faustino goes to Phil Kainglet once again going through the defense. That's more like it. That's Ateneo coming back quickly with uh, two straight points. Coming off the timeout by Coach Clint Malazo. Napakamot sa likod ng 